Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as taroots, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost we have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway or you can call us on 7657-479-980-8483-340-9400 or 635-9906.
we've been seated for too long and the sun as well is very hot we will have the prayers as customary in the gambia and seek the blessings and guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us through what we are set out here for we will have prayers which will be done by the imam of new yundu followed by the priest of the catholic church we will have the welcoming remarks by the Alcalo of New Yundu and the Chief of Combo North. We will also have the welcoming remarks by the National Assembly member, Honorable Sekuba Jaju, and as well as the Governor of the West Coast region. From there, we will have statements to be read by the various representatives we have a representative from the Islamic Development Bank, one of the key partners. We will also have a statement from the Kuwaiti Fund, and we have a goodwill message from Badia. We also have a statement from the Chief Executive Officer of the Saudi Fund for Development, and as well as the Chief Executive Officer of the Gambia OIC Secretariat. Then we'll have a statement by the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs. From there, we'll have a brief uh, performance by various cultural groups here present. And from there, we'll have the main item on the program guide, which of course is the keynote address by the Vice President, Her Excellency, Dr. Aisatu Toure. From there, we'll have the laying of the foundation stone. A round of applause, please. And at this juncture, I would like to invite the Imam of New Yundum, Khalifa Bojang, to lead us in the Muslim prayers. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم نعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في ديننا ودنيانا وأهلنا ومالنا اللهم استر عوراتنا وآمن روعاتنا اللهم احفظنا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا ومن أمامنا اللهم استر عوراتنا وآمن روعاتنا اللهم احفظنا من بين أيدينا ومن خلفنا وعن يميننا وعن شمالنا ومن فوقنا ومن تحتنا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك أن أختار من تحتنا اللهم عالم الغيب والشهادة فاطر السماوات والأرض رب كل شيء وملكه نشهد الله لا إله إلا أنت 
نستغفر ونتوب إليك اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات اللهم إنا نسألك البركة في هذا المشروع اللهم إنا نسألك البركة في هذا المشروع اللهم أصلح لنا في هذا المشروع ووفر لنا الخيرات فيها اللهم أعنا بالتوفيق في هذا المشروع المبارك في بلدنا هذه اللهم أصلح جميع القائمين في هذا المشروع بالنجاح اللهم ارزقنا باختتام هذا المشروع اللهم اجعل البركة في أوله واجعل البركة في وسطه واجعل البركة في ختامه اللهم اللهم اجزي جميع القائمين بهذا المشروع والذين قاموا بدعم هذا المشروع في البلد وخارج البلد اللهم ارزقنا رزقا واسعا اللهم ارزقنا رزقا واسعا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما رب جعلنا مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتنا ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وللمؤمنين ويوم يقوم الحساب وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Lord God Almighty we thank and praise you as we gather this afternoon for this triune function eternal God we humbly present our case before you and lift your name higher for the gift of life and peace and allowing this event to take place. It is still our fervent prayer that you descend down your Holy Spirit upon each and every one of us gathered here, and more so upon those who would be speakers on this occasion. May they be refreshed. May they be imbued with your divine wisdom so that, Lord, all we intend to achieve, it will be done in your mighty name. Lord God, you have created man and endowed him with your creative mind. We thank you for the creativity that man is able to come up with. We surrender our actions to you. Bless therefore, those who will be in charge of these projects, may they enjoy your divine presence and protection from beginning to the end. May they be committed to the task ahead and to come out with quality works that will glorify your name and benefit the entire human race and especially your people in the Gambia. Lord God, we thank you for the donors. We pray that as they have extended helping hand to our nation, they will never lack as a nation. May they be ever be provided for, and may they enjoy every blessings that come from you. Eternal God, we commit our country to you we pray that peace will continue to reign. We pray that we'll be united in our minds for the common goal, for the development of our nation, and may we be one forever as you have ordained it. We present these prayers, the prayers of our nation, the prayers of each and every person gathered here today, Lord, 
through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Honorable Mamure Jai, to make a statement. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Dr. Aisha Tuture, Speaker of the National Assembly, Mariam Jack Denkin, and the National Assembly members present, Honorable Ministers, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, and his deputy, including the Secretary of Cabinet. Governor West Coast Region, may I also take this opportunity to welcome the CEO of Saudi Fund for Development, distinguished representative of the Islamic Development Bank, specifically the Regional Hub Director, our own Honorable Musa Sila, former Minister of Trade and Regional Integration and Employment of the Gambia. The CEO OIC Secretariat and your dynamic team, our ambassador, Gambia ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Honorable Salah, distinguished senior government officials, service chiefs, chief of Congo non, managing directors of various state-owned enterprises, the Alcala of Yunu, all Yunu, distinguished religious leaders, including the Imam and priest, security personnel, media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols respectfully observed. I have the honor to deliver this statement on behalf of my brother and friend, Honorable Bailamin Job, Minister of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, who is unable to join us today at this momentous occasion. Honorable Minister Job sent his best, his best wishes and congratulates all on this very significant milestone in the history of the Gambia. Having said that, please allow me to convey a very special and cordial welcome to you all. This event is indeed a significant and a joyous one. Today, we join His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, in inaugurating the Airport Rehabilitation Project, the laying of the foundation stone for the ultra-modern airport VIP Presidential Lounge, and the widening of the Battle Hagen Highway. This project is a significant milestone in President Adam Abaro's agenda for infrastructural development in the Gambia. It also forms part of the preparatory works for the upcoming OIC summit, which will be hosted by the Gambia in 2022, inshallah. We all do recall that this road are one of the key projects of the OIC Gambia Summit. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a comprehensive and enabling road network is the backbone of any country's transportation system. In fact, a robust road network has positive implications for ease of doing business. It facilitates other economic activities, including that of a farm to market, and roads also ease access to social amenities like schools and hospitals. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Gambia is therefore very proud that the Battle Harden Highway, which is one of the main road links in this country, will be expanded into a dual carriage way. It is worthy to also note that with this road transformation, the President of the Republic, Mr. Adam Abaro's government, is addressing 
a major social and economic challenges of our time. We have seen the need for the upgrading of roads to improve the traffic circulation and congestion with works expected to be completed within a period of 16 months the road will significantly ease the burden of movement in the country it will all also boost commerce and improve the urban outlook for the countries once completed the new and improved parallel highway will also improve the gambia's tourism infrastructure while mitigating risks against the wear and tear of our motor vehicles. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, by the same token, and following the infrastructure improvement at the Bangu International Airport, the country is now able to handle up to 500 passengers in a peak hour. This development is in line with the government's aim to increase operational capacity and efficiency at the airport. Systems including self-service skills, among others, will also be introduced in the terminal to enhance service delivery. At this first point of entry for visitors to the Gambia, the airport rehabilitation and the new VVIP line will also enhance the country's regional competitiveness in travel and tourism, uplifting its image and standards in line with international protocols and high-level reception required. An important aspect of this project is the requirement for an international consultant having to put up a team with a team of local con con constructors. The expertise and skills transfer to our fellow Gambians will also be vital to our national construction industry. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in celebrating this momentous achievement, please allow me to acknowledge the contribution that made this project possible. Natively, among the OIC, the Islamic Development Bank, the Arab Bank for Economic Development, and much more specific, the Saudi Fund for Development and the Creative Fund. Without their financial support, it would have been difficult to realize the project. The government of the Gambia is committed to continue strengthening bilateral relations with this organization as we will continue to partner and collaborate in support of the Gambia's development projects. I use this opportunity to also thank the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure staff, the dynamic OIC Secretariat COE and his team, the National Roads Authority, and the Gambia Civil Aviation for the significant efforts and works put into this successful hosting of the, o of the upcoming OIC Summit in 2022. Your Excellency, please allow me to also specifically thank the Ministry of Finance for responding to the request from the Works Ministry to co-finance this project to the tune of one billion dollars. This is historic, and I must also specifically thank the Speaker of the National Assembly, who is also present here, with the National Assembly members, both the majority and the minority leader, including the Deputy Speaker, for approving the one billion dollars allocated for this project. Speaker, we want to say thank you very much. We appreciate all the effort. With these few remarks, we look forward to the completion of this significant project and more important to the positive impact they will have on the lives and the livelihood of Gambians and residents of the Gambia and our development partners. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you.
Thank you. A round of applause for the Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Mambure Jai. At this point, I would like to call on the Alcalo of New Yundu, Mr. Mumodu Bojan. Mr. Mumodu Bojan, a round of applause for him, please. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Follow, follow me, His Excellency, President uh, Adam Abaro, Makontona, Kata, Vice President here, Her Excellency, Madam Aisha Tuture. The president of the country of Tamilaniyala, the president of the country of Bakke. Many lalale, but I know the tempo means to tend to. I pull up the motor in the amount for the jam. But the country of Bakke, the cabinet minister, the country, the speaker, the country, and the national assembly, the governor, the country, the OIC, the secretary, the country, and the more than the ten other jam, the baby similar. Balten to la press, Balten to la bake, Contanta bake, Balti similar la jang, Ying projeko, Anata le puluka, Adam Barobe Batamin, a puruko, a puruka, Batamin Bonikankan, Puruko la fa, Otombe tentulam beja la bake, Adam Barobe do kumi name Bangkoka, Hanni Muso no more do ada nyanya, Walla ekajel, Anu Adam Baro, I do le duntola. But in Bala Julo Jola, Ning Alasanta on the fourth, on the fifth, Bebe Benda Makasquale, Ning Alasanta. At the Jamfalanti, Masudiati, Waterkela. Adam Baro, President Olong, Mia Longo, I Balafa Soto, I Hino Soto, I Femme Besoto, Anamadum Minu Bada Nyokang, Anamadum Minu Tarata Nyokang, I Wella Kafundinola, I Kekiluti, I Bol Tamandikang. Oto President Baro, ala doko, mbele ngaje, anu mbeba komale. Gambia dingo, gambia dingo kendo mtongo fendi. Ibebe President Baro kani, anu sala mbetula komale. Me na mold be kontona, mimi alon kwe nada jang. Me mold be bi similar la jang. Project kodi, ai kontani, ai gambia bele kontani, ai amanta abe komo notle. But I began to be a kono. Kadi ni silo mingba kono tenting. Ni silo tambo kaka kolea ba ke sako ularo. Sako six lenu afolora Adam Baro lajam. Anu ngalongo aseme nyanya me eight lenu soto lale. Nimbe siala wote. Anu me dua la ifanang. Anala cabinet be. Anala dimba be. Anim banko be. Fo alse banko tengundi. Kadi ni kare fa o mingo naje. Kadi ni kare kono. Kadi ni dije kare kono. Kadi fa kovi baro. Nala Julo Jola, Ala Barakabak, the Molde Tentula, the Molde Jaila, Elena Kuni Makam, Ala Barabak. Amba Jaila, Kumosa Hayata Bakale, a round of applause to the Alcala of New Yundu, Mr. Usman Bojan. I would like to call on the Chief of Commonwealth, Mr. Momodu Bojan, to also welcome us here. Aouzu Billahi, Nina Setaru Lejim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Mbem Mansour Tendula Miya Sam Fatawullo Da Nibbang Fatawullo Ay Nemo Min Kentolye Ba Tenduka Waleka Mbe Kondondo Tamindela Vice President ya Prasad Kandala President wala Anala Cabinet Minister Anu lunta on min be nata jamba al be kontona Dal be kuman la al tol na al kontona la Al ni ne mo min ale akenye ni aje ngamba ala tempula ka Ni ne mo mo gambia be la ne mo le Do aketa kombo not le Ba gambia be le ta Bah, au Gambia non, bah le calcul au boulot de la alerte à faire bah, ouah tu t'en mets des gens, banque au bocal et arrive bah quelle, 
and Yala so sai gamen gol Allah tamina ale wol kali ali adan min ali ala dan ten kumula anin hardie fun anin sima ali adan wol ala nata adama baro dial ale adama baro dial la adama baro ya ay badul ke kilint das ay sinyo mal ke kilint Ala hajo be ayabeke ni bankole. Banko wa kole ari nyao nya mbal haki lo bulandila. O ato fao ni kwa momi ye lo ibi kaspare. Ba lumu mina ni ya ya benta we sil. Ako ya ya ko ni wato sil ata ya ya duma. Ya ata embe fala ata emba nalbo. So a miyo la li elebe. I knew La Comonco and the Jam La Comonco. Moka and Ajam Feja should yet. I am don't on Bajola. Comonco Julo Jolet. Comboca Julo Jolet. Nadia and Nikila and Beja and Bajola. No for La Comonco Mumebe. Cairo Ningale, Cairo Dila is a Cairo, a Samutai Alatentakan as an Alapa. Imagine. I need Nafe, Ale Cairo Nafe, Nina Tacalexiale, a fellow Manak in Nessia, Yakedisia, Omune Madolet. And the Nina Adam of Rotten to Sana do Kunor to another vice president of Nalamo. Cabinet Minister, by the Tolle Latin Yok Adam Akinim Bekakin, I knew all of. Or the name Betten to Rokel and Batten to Rokel and Nalak do Kunor Bell. Kabala, a secretary general, can have to do and minister, vice president, and all the more day. Mbafala and Nimbara and Nimbara. Alhamu Minti Gambia and Mangalia son and Nalde. In this old phone, Wale, in Tolbe Julo Jola Najamu, Mam C. Follow. On the 5th of December, Walu Nimba moved Lakata, State House, Nakandialako, Nijo. Assalamu alaikum. At this very point, I would like to invite the Honorable Member for the National Assembly of Commonwealth, Mr. Honorable Rada Sekuba Jadi. A round of applause, Mbala Dipite Kumandela Sai, Mimu Sekuba Jadi, and Mbali Mulfanali Ekata. Ali Bulo. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين Your Excellency the Vice President of the Gambia Dr. Isaac Zure I greet you the Speaker of the National Assembly, Madam Mariam Jack Denton, my fellow National Assembly members, the Cabinet Ministers of the Government of His Excellency President Adam Abaro, the leaders of the community of New Union. Community of Vangelini, Lamen, Oliyulu, and Busumbala. It will be ideal for me to speak in English for the donors to know the appreciation of this project to my people as a representative of Busumbala constituency. But it will also be very good for my people to know in the language that they understand the benefit of this project that His Excellency President Adam Abaro is bringing to this country. 
Before going further, I want to thank the donors for the trust they have on the government of the Gambia under the able leadership of His Excellency President Adam Abaro. And the good intention they have the Gambian people to uplift our life, uplift our life from a stage we are to a better stage to be a march to other countries in the international world. I start with the Islamic Bank, the Creative Fund, the Badia, Saudi Development, and the OIC Secretary. By extension, I thank the CEO of OIC Secretariat, the Minister of Finance, Honorable Mamou Renjai. Your Excellency Vice President, with your permission, extend it to the donors that the people of the Gambia have no regret to vote in His Excellency President Adam Abaro into office. And we are also very much appreciative, appreciative for their trust in him. The man is working for the country because he is responding to the need of the people. Every day, any person or anybody who wants to go out of your house to anywhere to engage in your economic activities, the first concern that you think in your mind is the traffic congestion that you are going to fight with before you reach your destination. For that being the cause, it has deterred the economic development of this country because the people are not empowered to be able to do their job to contribute to the national development. So if a project like this is coming to the Gambia, which will uplift the face of the Gambia, but also ease the traffic congestion, there is no less measure that this road project is going to empower the Gambian people economically and by extension is going to empower and upgrade the economy of this country. So I told, thank all the donors for their trust in the Gambian government. Madam Speaker, I cannot conclude my statement in English without talking about the National Assembly. I stand here today to represent the fifth legislature of the National Assembly of the Gambia. When we came into office, we took an oath that we will never be a National Assembly of a robust term, but we will work for the interests of the Gambian people. It has been mentioned by the, by the Minister of Finance. From the executive, the National Assembly has supported the intention of the government of the government under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Aboro to approve one billion dollars as a partner sponsor to this project. So that shows you that the National Assembly is there for the people, but it is under the able leadership of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Mariam Jack Dendin. I thank you very much to come and grace this foundation lead. And all the National Assembly of the Gambia to change for my people to understand. Mbadi mbusi mbala konsuensi nkolu, mbadi ngambia nolu. Mkwa amanke nye regreti. Kali ya kuma kama mindunda. Ka itindile kwa ka adem balo sero nye mpala soto, amanke gambia di nkile regreti. Adu adu kwa itindile feruko. Nadi ada ale. December on the phone, mekarte fole 15 half a week, excel adem abaro, I continue ala do kola. Ndolmin be katama. Momo katama jani itale fomi uusu di afaita Senegal. Momo tata nina le doye kamine fo. Senegal la silo. Bari Muriteni la silo. Bari Morocco la silo. Nyonti la. Mansamin nata ke o silo le falling. Ni miyati, miyati na nita la obangu dolto. Iti la silo kawa la. Katina jini ke kawa asila sifa de Gambia. Bari His Excellency President Nama Ramaboro. Alangnya tunggu ya kau, analam ulbi, 
ya ferokele fe oic semisoro in the gambia ibina silo dogula silo mi yalango anina masoro gambia or is this excellency in aten dubake but in bad in gambia ngolo president baro dem mamake molle babul mi mara minister de kabala vice president of kaduma but in institutional fanam bi jara min kafutara but in denga institutional mi yalango aliya carte fay nga da si wolo to wolon dibide bu ngodi Jamaa mama lon dibidel ko min dogu bari dibidel la dogu a koy dal bi ko ali alon ko ndal ko moya ba de bangu dogu ko nare ni man sa gunda sura da fengo fenna ka wonan bandal bangol do bang wara ko do a nyinda la spenna a nyinda na la dibide bu ngol do na na da jaka ndol la nyiri nga na molla kan kan fombe sonna bang fonde sonna ndol la sengo ko non ka koro sira ka nyiri nga roke fa la ta koro minna ala da minna dawda fonna molla interest do bang fonna molla interest do nsa ko ni gambino be la ko ministre finance ya fo jenne dala ci billion killing ndol sanda wala kam ma sagunda ya bondi ya kafu ñum projet ko kan ani ya dono school be kan o do ya ken di la ko ni national assembly mi be gambia aman ke regret nga soto ani adam baro jamano your excellency madam vice president mo mo ka fenne du wala balu ko no i jamano yemine ke yemine fo e bole folo ma and we will for dunia nyin gara jamano de jamano mi yalan ko ben don don la jamano fe ali ben ala tantu ndol mama rumul ni mumru la bina ben silo tara jene kom mama ni mumul e dogo kan nyame a fola fola gara adam baro jamano le bari ngal haka dani al mam mol je asia ali yalan ko projet ko min be koni mol man na anil na nyame ko lo mi yalan ko nga moy amam me ko no suto la ko tan da ko er ko be on be kelale bari ali yalan ko fanan na president ba abe tola in the provinces ndol fo be tola in the phones but i have to cut that to to come and join the people on the ground but wala nale ngi bar ngay tan yalla ko ndol ko ndanda bake pour gagner projet ko sur yang ay nanan gambe gambe jang ana be roy la bu simbala constituency ka ko ñim beñ kum fa gambe yang kolo gambe yang kolo minum gambe di yat wala ye fo ko kanu yalla banko kan min e jarde nga carte fay carte fay moye mi yalla ngabe ko kele ko mi nyaadi ibe sulare ko mi na ayo hati wolam the relevancy of the project mol ba fo gan silo man na fasu do bar ndol nga lo na bi mo moy silo mo yang grace la gunda ni a time for 30 minutes you spend one hour ndoke da national assembly nyanda do ko ko mas tano ko lo dol ko fa 11 o'clock 12 o'clock la mi ne sabu traffic ko sabu o ta ka ni nyanda min kacha la mo ga be kacha no ni man samin na da kaka na wo silo le dada pour ngo bata ko min sido way kundu wallahi ho man sodi mi yalla go gambe nolu ala nga carte de yalla tambi there is no regret for us to have adam baro in the government so ko ko be dang ni nata wato la ndemo politique no di mbe politique fo ali anata wato la iba fo la be political board la ni ga ngo ali carte fay adam baro pour do ko la kai ye nay do ko ge ga fo be abe politique la o de dal carte fo ya fo mi da kama fele fo da kai mo ni ni be do ada maro nga carte fay min gama ba ke ganne ana la man sakunda oto gambia ngolu usu bala constituency ala nga carte fay president adam boro atelay gambia wati gambia la atelay fana wati so i said secretariat i thank you very much the only concern that we have for the contractors and the consultants accidents is a problem i am a witness when this road was newly meant here there have been a series of serious of fatal accidents So we want to appeal to the contractors to put those measures in place so that the speed of the vehicles will be limited and accidents if not avoided will also be minimized so on that note i thank everybody for your kind attention thank you very much thank you your excellency here present uh, that was the uh, national assembly member for busumbala constituency I would like to invite the governor of the West Coast region Mr. Lamin Sane. Mr. Sane, a round of applause for Mr. Sane please. Uh, Your Excellency the Vice President Dr. Asadu Toure every representing His Excellency President Adam Abaro Speaker of the National Assembly Madam Jaganti with all her National Assembly members in the Gambia Ma, I say thank you very much 
I congratulate you and I say this is a job well done. My Lord Chief Justice, Secretary General and Head of Civil Service with his deputy and Secretary of the Cabinet, Mr. Ibrahim Asise, Honorable Cabinet members who are present here this afternoon, members of the Diplomatic and Council of Corps, our partners from Islamic Development Bank, from Balia and the Creative Fund for Development, permanent secretaries, CEO of Gambia OIC Secretariat, heads of parastatals, honorable assembly members, my colleague, Governor of North Bank Region, Mr. Sedekan, my Deputy Governor, Honorable Musa Suso, Chairman Bricamere Council, local government authorities, those are my chiefs, and Council of Alcalos, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols respectively observed. I am indeed very grateful and humble to be accorded with this rare privilege to make a welcoming remark as the governor of West Coast region on this groundbreaking event, marking the inauguration of the airport rehabilitation project and the Martin Harding Highway and the VVIP one project. This project is history and marks a turning point in the history and infrastructure development of the country, that is the Gambia. We are grateful to all partners, especially the Islamic Development Bank, the Creative Fund for Development, the Saudi Fund for Development, and all other partners who made this possible. The transformation process of any country is judged on her infrastructure development, especially on road networks, better transport services, effective communication, and the healthcare service delivery. Today's event demonstrates the government's commitment towards achieving that goal as enshrined in the National Development Plan of the Gambia. Madam Chair, as I said earlier in one of my remarks, the sources registered by the federal government is second to none since the change of regime in 2016-2017. When the Gambia was identified to host this summit, many detractors said it will never happen. This is because they don't have the country at heart and do not want to see development taking place in this country. But we all know Gambia is moving to the right direction. Thanks to His Excellency President Adam Barrow and team. We had launched, we had one launching before just last month in Brufut. And today, we are here in Yundum doing another magnificent one. Thanks to His Excellency, President Adam Barrow, with this entire executive and the legislative body, those are the assembly members. Madam Chair, when this project is completed, undoubtedly, it will first lift the country's image and highly improve the transportation system, as well as boost our security reform strategy. The Gambia will be put on the map of countries whose airport VVIP launch is up to standard in comparison to the developed world. The people of West Coast region are grateful to the government of the day in delivering to us on presidential development, which are, of course, unimaginable. Therefore, we don't have much to say Rather than showing our deepest appreciation to His Excellency Mr. President Adam Barrow with his government. Madam Chair, having said that, I wish to welcome all of you to this grand breaking event. May we enter December 2021 with a, uh, la, with a magnificent victory as President of the Republic of the Gambia. Thank you for your attendance. A round of applause for the governor there, Mr. Lamin San. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, the Vice President, I would like to call on the Chief Executive Officer of the Saudi Fund for Development, Prince Sultan Al-Massad.
to the podium, please. A round of applause for him, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Excellency, Vice President of the Republic of Gambia, uh, Your Excellency, the Minister of Gambia, this country, yes, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Saudi Fund for Development, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Your Excellency for inviting us to attend today's official inauguration ceremony of the Dan Joel International Airport Rehabilitation Project, which has been financed by the Saudi Fund for Development with an amount of 31 million US dollars. I'd like to take this opportunity to convey the Saudi government's best wishes for your country continue progress, growth, and prosperity. We congratulate you on opening this important project, which also will support your achievement of sustainable development goals. Your Excellency, the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, this project will increase airport operational capacity by 40% and it will also enhance trade, support economic growth, and improve living standards for more than 2 million people. This comes in line with our support to the transportation sector and its services in the Gambia. The Vice President, Ladies and gentlemen, today I am honored to lay the foundation stone of the VVIP Lounge project at Banjol International Airport, financed by the Saudi Fund for Development with a value of 10.5 million US dollars. It, it will provide the necessary facilities to host official delegations and hold international conference, and the 50 kilos in road roads for amount of 50 million US dollar, also financed by the Saudi Fund for Development. The developments in the Goal International Airport is an extension of the ongoing support provided by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia through Saudi Fund for Development to the Republic of Gambia, which reached, as of today, 215 million US dollar through extending 15 concessional loan and five grants to finance 17 projects. Finally, I would like to extend my thanks and appreciation to His Excellency, the Gambian President, and the people for their warm reception and generous hospitality and express our sincere wishes for your country's continued growth and prosperity. Thank you very much. I'd like to say a very big thank you to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Like I said, Saudi Arabia has and still continues to be a genuine partner to the people of the Gambia. And for that reason, we are humble and grateful. Thank you very much. At this juncture, I would like to invite the representative from the Kuwaiti Fund, Walid Al Baha, to also make a statement. Rahman Rahim, Your Excellency Dr. Isatu Touré, the Vice President of the Republic of Gambia, Your Excellency, Honorable Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. I would like to take this moment occasion to thank the government of Gambia for their warm and kind invitation to Kuwait Fund for Arab economic development to participate in this joyful celebration. It is also a great honor for me to be with you today in your beautiful country to present the Kuwaiti Fund. In this occasion of the launching of the Berkeley Harding Highway Project.
the importance of this project, which aim to contribute to the social and economic development of the Gambia by integrating the road with the roads network within the country, increasing the level of its safety, reducing transportation costs and travel time, all of which will help the pro in promoting development effort in the area. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, development cooperation between the Gambia and Kuwait Fund dates back to 1977, when the fund extended a soft loan for financing the Somayoro Bernconordia project, road project, in the amount of 11.5 million US dollars. Since 1977 until today, the Kuwait Fund extended 13 soft loans to the Gambia with a total amount of 152 million US dollars to participate in the financing of development projects in various sectors such as agriculture, energy, transportation, education, and health. Furthermore, the fund has extended seven technical assistance with a total amount of 4.5 billion US dollar and grant allocated by the government of the state Kuwait for an amount of 3 million US dollar within the framework of Kuwait Goodwill Fund to, for promotion of food security in the Islamic country. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, Your government has demonstrated a high degree of efficiency in the planning and implementation of development projects in the Republic of Gambia. And we take this opportunity to assure you of Kuwait Fund continuous support in your effort for the development of your friendly country. In, clo in closing, on behalf of Kuwait Fund, I extend my graduation and best wishes to everyone associated with this project, and it's my sincere hope that it will remain for a long time a significant contributor to the glory of the friendly nation. Thank you. At this juncture, I would like to invite our very own Mr. Musa Sillan, who is representing the Islamic Development Bank and who is also the regional director based in Dakar. Mr. Silla, please, a round of applause for him. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Your Excellency Dr. Aisha Touture, Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, the Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly. Mrs. Uh, Mariam Jack uh, Dentit, Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, our uh, Governor for the Islamic uh, Development Bank, Honorable Mahmoud Njai, other ministers uh, present, Your Excellencies, representatives of uh, bilateral donors, in particular, the uh, CEO of uh, the Saudi Fund for Development, Prince Sultan, uh, my brother Walid, uh, Director of Operations of the Kuwaiti Fund for Development, representatives of uh, Badia, the permanent secretaries and other senior government officials present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Allow me at the outset to convey the sincere greetings and salutations of His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Al Jasir, President of the Islamic Development Bank Group, to His Excellency President Adam Abaro, uh, President of the Republic of the Gambia on the special invitation extended to the ISDB on the auspicious occasion of the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Batin Harding Highway project. The President of the Islamic Development Bank congratulates the government of the Gambia for the great efforts that are being made particularly for the preparation of the National Development Plan and uh, for the uh, great commitment to infrastructure development. 
Your Excellency, the relationship between the Republic of the Gambia and the Islamic Development Bank dates back to February 1980 when the Gambia became a member of uh, the Islamic Development Bank group. Since 1980 to date, the Islamic Development Bank has financed numerous projects in the Gambia to the tune of almost $1 billion. To be precise, $994 million of financing has been extended to the Gambia by the Islamic Development Bank. I can assure you that this is uh, well below the desire of the management of the bank. We wish we could have uh, financed many more projects in the country if uh, project implementation was really up to speed. Currently, the active portfolio of uh, the Islamic Development Bank in the Gambia is about $151 million for 11 projects. It may not be known, but uh, the IDB has financed several projects in the Gambia. I will just cite a few of the important projects. One of them is the 20 megawatt Brikama 2 power plant, the Westfield to Sukuta Road, and uh, the Sukuta Jambangeli Road the construction of the University of the Gambia campus at Parababanta, small ruminancino project, rice valley chain project, bilingual education project. The most recent you know, project is the one for which we are gathered here today. That is uh, the widening of the Battle Harding Highway. This uh, project, has been approved and uh, is currently in front of uh, the board of directors of the bank. And uh, on the 15th of December, they'll be meeting on this uh, project. And uh, inshallah, we hope this will be signed before the end of uh, December. Historically, IDP has been very active in the energy and agriculture sector as well as in the transport sector. The, the project for which we are gathered here today is quite an important one. And uh, the Islamic Development Bank is contributing $14 million you know, to this project. This is about 18% of the total cost of the project. Your Excellency, the rapid rate of urbanization in our member countries puts a lot of strain and uh, pressure on the transport uh, system uh, which ultimately affects the productivity of uh, the economy. In the case of the Gambia, it is estimated that about 50% of the population lives in the greater Banjul area. This has resulted in the build-up of heavy traffic on the main arteries, especially the uh, Battle Harding Highway, where traffic has been growing by more than 3% annually to an estimated 16,000 vehicles per day this year. The Islamic Development Bank believes that <coughs> roads are the arteries through which the economy pulses. By linking producers to markets, workers to jobs, students to schools, and the sick to hospitals, roads are vital to any development agenda. The IDB, therefore, has us demonstrated the willingness to support the government of the Gambia in the development of uh, the road network. And the, the, this project has been appraised in record time from September to November 
and uh, thanks you know, to the dynamism of uh, the government and uh, the various uh, ministers. Your Excellency, the Islamic uh, Development Bank believes that uh, this project will help to ease the flow of traffic and contribute to economic development and uh, the development of a resilient economy and social infrastructure. It will enhance energy efficiency by reducing fuel consumption for cars because of a for more fluid traffic and allow for the successful preparation for the upcoming OIC summit, which will be hosted in the Gambia in 2022. Your Excellency, before I conclude, allow me to thank uh, the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs, the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, the National Roads Authority, and the OIC Secretariat for their commitment, their professionalism, and their strong support and collaboration with the Islamic Development Bank team during the appraisal of this project. Without their support, without their commitment, that project will not have seen the road. So we thank them very much. I also thank uh, the donors co-financing uh, this project with the Islamic uh, Development Bank, namely the Saudi Fund for Development, the Kuwait Fund, and uh, the Badia, uh, who have all contributed significantly to this project. Excellency, to conclude, I would like uh, to reaffirm the willingness and commitment of the Islam Islamic Development Bank under the leadership of uh, Dr. Muhammad al Jasir to support the development efforts of the Gambia government in line with the National Development Plan. The regional office in Dakar is uh, available to support you know, the project team to ensure that implementation is efficient and uh, quick and that uh, we can assure you of our availability. On this, I wish every success to this project and I wish every success to the development of the Gambia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi this juncture, I now welcome the Executive Director of the Gambia OIC Secretariat, Mr. Yankuba Diba, to deliver a statement. A round of applause for him, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish to begin my remarks by recognizing and acknowledging the presence of the following distinguished personalities and guests. High Excellency Dr. Asatu Touré, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, who also doubles as the co-chair of the Gambia OIC Secretariat Board of Directors. Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, particularly our biggest partner ministries, which are the Ministries of Works, Transport and Infrastructure, Finance and Economic Affairs, and Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad. Honorable Chief Justice, Honorable Secretary General and Deputy, Honorable um, Secretary to the Cabinet, who, who is also the Secretary to the Board of Directors of the OIC, Honorable National Assembly members, members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, Venerable Religious Leaders, Service Chiefs, the Governor of West Coast Region, Heads of Government Agencies and Departments, most especially Heads of our Implementing Partners in respect of the projects we are commemorating today. And these are the Director General of the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority, Excellency Fansu Bojan, and Managing Director of the National Roads Authority, Mr. Momodu Senghor. I also recognize our traditional chiefs and Al-Kalulu 
present here. Mr. Chairperson, allow me to reserve special mention and commendation for our esteemed guests from our development financing partners, namely the Chief Executive Officer of the Saudi Fund, His Excellency Mr. Sultan Al Masad, the Director of Operations of the Kuwaiti Fund, Mr. Walid Al Bahar, and Honorable Musa Silva, our very own, who is the Regional Director of the Islamic Development Bank. Another of our very good partners, which is Badia, are unavoidably absent. Worthy of special mention, too, is our able ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, who doubles as the special representative to the OIC, His Excellency Omar Jibril Salah. I respectfully observe the entire membership of the OIC Local Steering Committee, the management and staff of the Gambia OIC Secretariat, as well as men and women of the press. I am profoundly elated and deeply honored to welcome you all to this historic mega event that we are here to commemorate, which will no doubt have lasting implications on the present and future development needs of the Gambia. As the Gambia prepares for, to host the OIC summit next year, my office, which is the OIC Gambia Secretariat, is charged with the responsibility of coordinating and leading the efforts to mobilize needed resources of state to ensure truly global event that reflects our tra trademark Gambian hospitality. Since its inception in mid-2018, the OIC Gambia Secretariat achieved a lot despite several challenges such as COVID-19 and the accompanying disruptions. Without a doubt, the OIC infrastructure portfolio being the single biggest development enterprise in the history of this country could not have been possible without the support of our brothers from the Ummah present here today. Mr. Chairman, in light with the teachings of and values of Islam, these institutions have proven to be great and reliable supporters to the Gambia. Similarly, I'm happy to report here that all the strategic priority projects identified under the OIC have taken off and are at advanced stages of implementation. In addition to the Battle Harding Highway, being financed by the consortium of partners here present, we are delighted to note that the start, to note the start in earnest of the 50 kilometer urban roads project being financed by the Saudi Fund for Development, which will add 20 new modern roads across Greater Banjo. This project will cost 50 million US dollars. Today also marks the stone laying of another of our priority projects, which is the construction of the airport VVIP presidential lounge, also financed by the Saudi Fund for Development to the tune of 10.5 million US dollars. I would like to reiterate, Mr. Chairman, that the Gambia OIC Secretariat, with the support of our partners, remains confident and resolute in our commitment to deliver all our projects in a timely fashion and as well host the summit in a way that every Gambian can be proud of. Our greatest motivation comes from knowing that the OIC projects will make life a lot better for everyone in the Gambia, now and in the future, and that our projects have the potential to significantly impact the course of development for many, many more years to come. It is our mantra at the OIC Gambia Secretariat that the OIC coming to the Gambia will be meaningless if it cannot be linked to the welfare, well-being, and progress of most of our people in this country. Today's groundbreaking ceremony, therefore, is a testament to that. 
Once completed, the Battle Harding Highway will profoundly reduce the burden of commuting in the Greater Banjul area, boost commercial activities, and thereby contributing to economic growth and improving the urban outlook of our urban metropolis. Equally, the construction of the ultra-modern DBIP presidential lounge will first and foremost provide a befitting reception to guests attending the OIC summit. The lounge in conjunction with the International Conference Center and the Five Star Hotel will position the Gambia as one of the leading conference destinations in Africa. Additionally, building of a modern presidential pavilion at the country's only international airport will uplift its image and standards in line with international protocol and high-level reception requirements. At this juncture, I would like to use this opportunity to urge all Gambians, particularly the youth, to take advantage of the jobs that these projects will create. The implementation of these projects will require hundreds and hundreds of skilled and unskilled labor. Before concluding, Mr. Chairman, I would like to seek the cooperation and understanding of the general public, especially those whose properties and daily routines will be affected by the civil war. I cannot conclude without thanking the chair and entire board of directors of the Gambia OIC Secretariat, headed by our able president, His Excellency, President Adam Abaro, for his unflinching support and guidance throughout the process. I thank you all for your kind attention. Your Excellency, Madam Vice President, Madam Aisha Tukturin, Lord Chief of Justice, Speaker of the National Assembly, with the Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, the Honorable Minister of Transport and Works, I know you are not here, but I have to thank you, Mr. Bailamin, Job, his PS, Mr. Mo Sise and his able staff, Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Suffer, Mr. Mambor Njai, his PS, Mr. Ablai Jello and his able staff, Mr. CEO of the OIC and his able staff, Managing Director, Director of uh, NRA, Mr. Mamadou Senghor and his able staff, all honorable ministers and permanent secretaries here present, delegations of the funding agencies, Saudi funds, Kuwait funds, Islamic development, and Badia. Member of the Diplomatic and Consular Corp, honorable National Assembly members, head of government department, public, and private sectors. Uh, we are gathering today to be part of the member Marvel and unique even flagship project, the, the foundation laying ceremony of the widening of Bertel Harding Highway, dual carriage of 22 kilometers long from the airport junction to Stinkon. The main features of these projects are 22 kilometer full length, full pavement, six lane dual carriage, dual carriage of three lanes of each side, 1.4 meter width raised separator central median with a half a meter verge, five meter lateral, lateral road diversion and road service of 20 centimeter of both sides of the roads. Outer earth ditches at certain areas of the road, sidewalks of 1.5 meter in urban section, and 2 meter in high urban section. 6 centimeter asphalt thickness at the top, 2 flyovers, 1 flyover is at the turntable, and the second is at the traffic light, of a 480 meter length each. 
12 roundabouts, and a solar public lightning. With safety measures like guardrails, road marking, with a high quality signboard, curves, marker, posts, and cat eyes. A listening group has been established for the past 50 years, offering tailoring made solutions to various African countries for their unique circumstances specialized in all civil engineering roads, bridges, ports, and building constructions. Areski wishes to express gratitude to the Gambian government for the trust and confidence bestowed in Areski group to assume the implementation and the realization of such projects. Areski group hereby already expressed its profound gratitude to the people of the Gambia and their support and understanding during the future execution of this project. A special expression of gratitude to our President, His Excellency Adam Abaro, for his steadfast commitment in transforming the Gambia to a respected, respectable, respectable state among the League of Nations. Areski has and will all will all also ensure the execution of the quality job in compliance with the standard within the rules of arts. We remain at the disposition of the government of the Gambia in furtherance of the structural interest of the nation. We thank you for your attention. God bless the Gambia and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. First, we will have the Saudi Fund for Development, SDF. We will unveil the gift and present it to them, which of course is being presented by the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Dr. Aisa Tijitwe. A round of applause for the Saudi Fund for Development. The government of the Gambia is grateful, and therefore we say thank you very much. Albulo, Albulo, Kosi. Next, we have the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development. We have the Vice President again to present the gift to them. Yes, and we will unveil the gift. Thank you very much. We have Mariama there doing the unveiling and the Vice President officially presenting the gift to the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development. A round of applause, please. And next, we have the Islamic Development Bank, ISDB, to also receive their gift. It's been received by the Regional Director, Mr. Musa Silla. We have the Vice President there presenting the gift to Mr. Silla. Thank you very much. The Gambia is, is grateful. And next we have the gift for Badia, which is the Arab Bank for Economic Development of Africa. They're not here, but we will have the Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Mamburenja, of course, who will be represented by the Minister of Fisheries and Water Resources and National Assembly Martyrs, Mr. Gomez. We have the Vice President there presenting the gift to the Honorable Minister of Fisheries, beautiful paintings, a round of applause for the Vice President, please. Oh, I'm 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 Vice President, With your permission, Vice President, the Speaker of the National Assembly, and the donors present here, uh, at this young job, we want to have a, a little 
with interlude of music as part of our culture to entertain the dignities. Come to the concluding end of this session. 
and that is the statements which will be wrapped up by the keynote address by Her Excellency Dr. Aisha Tuture. And he will then move on to the foundation laying of the mega project that is the Battle Hardin Highway. With that, I have the singular honor and I am actually hijacking this from my sister. I want to give myself the honor to welcome to the podium my own Vice President, Dr. Aisha Tuture. Please welcome Ma. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, I am here to represent His Excellency President Barrow on this very auspicious occasion of the inauguration of the various projects that he has conceptualized. And today we are here to inaugurate them and also to celebrate them with our partners, our donors, our friends. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, my Lord, the Chief Justice, Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable National Assembly members, Honorable Ministers, members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, Service Chiefs, Permanent Secretaries and Heads of Government Agencies, Governors, Civil Servants, District Chiefs and al -Kalolus, Distinguished Guests, the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen. You will agree with me that infrastructural development is one of the catalysts for economic growth for developing countries. As such, my government has prioritized this sector by investing heavily in both capital and human resources to upgrade, construct, and maintain the public infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and public buildings. Therefore, our gathering here today is in line with our development aspirations. In support of our ambition of improving the transport sector, especially for roads and aviation, my government together with our development partners embarked on projects that will not only connect the communities to the health facilities, schools and markets, but also open up the Gambia internationally. This is made possible by the various road projects in the urban area, such as the 50 kilometer urban roads and the widening of the Batin Harding Highway, the rehabilitation of the Banjul International Airport and the new presidential lounge. These projects are also critical in our state of preparedness for upcoming OIC summit scheduled to take place in the Gambia. The rehabilitation of the terminal building is part of the airport master plan that looked at the systematic upgrading of Banjul International Airport in accordance with the passenger flows that were forecasted for a period of two decades. The government of the Gambia through the support of the Saudi fund, has spent more than $60 million in the improvement of Banjul International Airport. Let me hasten to acknowledge the contribution of our long-term partner, the Saudi Fund for Development, whose contributions during the different phases of the project since 2011 is well appreciated. The various components of the development covered the following areas. Rehabilitation and expansion of the parking apron, construction of two new airport taxi lanes, construction of a new fire and rescue station, overhaul of the instrument landing system, procurement of two new generators as secondary power, 
rehabilitation of the control tower and rehabilitation and remodeling of the passenger terminal building. These developments have upgraded the infrastructure in Bangalore International Airport, increased the passenger processing capacity, as well as the safety and security of the traveling passengers, as recommended in the manuals and documents of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. As part of these works, the passenger terminal building has been completely overhauled, remodeled, and rehabilitated, and now in a capacity to conveniently handle the traveling passengers. Furthermore, the new fire and rescue station was built in accordance with the firefighting category of BIA, thereby meeting the safety standards in ICAO documents. Additionally, the aircraft parking apron has been increased both in size and parking capacity. The apron has now been increased to 11 stationary parking bays and is connected to the runway by two taxi lanes. This is a significant milestone in airport operations and an important step in our desire to make BIA the hub of the sub-region. The instrument landing system was only replaced with modern day equipment thereby, ensuring that aircrafts can land safely with visual aid, even in adverse weather conditions. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, preparations are on high gear in relation to the infrastructural requirements for the upcoming OIC summit. My government will continue to give the requisite support to ensure a successful and memorable summit. The contribution of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is worth commending as over $93 million was approved for four projects, one of which is the new presidential lounge. The contribution of the fund has transcended to the implementation of the OIC projects, such as the 50 kilometer urban roads and the presidential lounge, which we are about to launch today. An amount of $10.5 million was approved for the presidential lounge by the SFD. This magnificent edifice, when completed, will be used by VVIPs and other VIPs, including ministers and ambassadors. This will ensure that the lounge is always functional, thereby maximizing the facilities. It is expected that the lounge and its facilities will be built and commissioned in 14 months. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the consultant Netherlands Airport Consultants, NACO, and Areski SA for being awarded the contract to build this magnificent building. This recommendation is because of the good track record, work records registered in the airport rehabilitation project. The building encompasses a floor area of 2,300 square meters and has the following facilities. A presidential lounge and a complete presidential suite, ministerial and diplomatic lounges, a complete kitchen, prayer room, connecting pavement to the apron. The construction of a new presidential lounge is another milestone in our strive to transform the Gambia into a major destination for international meetings, conferences, and world gatherings. The new presidential lounge will provide first-class services to important government guests and delegations. The lounge is part of our preparations for the summit of the Organization of Islamic Corporations. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
the project for the OIC summit are all related as the roads connect the airport to the hotels and the conference area. Thus, I am delighted and grateful to the Almighty Allah for witnessing the start of these much-awaited projects. The construction of the 22-kilometer Bertil Highway project marks yet another significant milestone in the achievements of the government of the Gambia. This project will remain an everlasting development landmark. The project will be implemented into two phases. For a construction duration of 24 months, phase one will be executed in 14 months, while phase two will be constructed for a period of 10 months. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the construction of the 22 kilometer road project when completed, will provide crucial access to the communities of Scarnifin municipality and West Coal region particularly. Yundum, Busumbala, Sukuta, Brusubi, Senegambia area, and beyond. It will decongest the arterial roads such as Westfield Tabokoto and West Coal Sukuta Road, as well is vehicle travel time and operating cost. This road will serve as a fulcrum to feed the satellite communities and the tourism development area. Access to schools, hospitals, and other social facilities and services will be greatly enhanced. Taking into consideration the urban setting with high population density, where some of the main economic activities such as services and tourism, concentrate. Therefore, there is no doubt that numerous economic and social benefits will be derived from this project for the country at large. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the scope of the work for this project includes the following activities. The construction of a 22-kilometer asphalt pavement comprising of two by three lanes and wall carriages. Construction of two overpasses at Brusudmi Tontable and Kairaba traffic lights, as well as 12 roundabouts. The construction of soldiers, sidewalks, drains, and parking areas. The installation of social traffic lights across the roads. At this juncture, I would like to take this opportunity to register my inestimable appreciation and that of the Gambian people to our development partners, notably the Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa, Badia, Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, Islamic Development Bank, and the government of the Gambia for funding this project at a tune of 79.8 million US dollars. I would also like to recognize the contribution of the consultant, South Consult, in joint venture with Gump Tech and the contractor, Areski SA. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate success of this project depends immensely on the commitment and level of collaboration from the parties, i.e. the client, consultant, contractors, the workforce, and to a larger extent, the host communities. As such, I would also like to implore the communities located along the road corridor, from Yundum to Sting Corner, through Coastal Road, Brusubi, Senegambia, Kanifing, and Bakau, to name a few, to be ambassadors to the successful implementation of the project and take ownership as the immediate beneficiaries. Finally, I would like to use this occasion to thank the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority, the National Roads Authority, the Gambia OIC Secretariat, 
and all stakeholders for their immense contributions towards the realization of these projects. In conclusion, I have the honor to declare the passenger terminal building officially open and wish to proceed to the laying of the foundation stones. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was the Vice President, Her Excellency, Dr. Aisha Ture, the delivering her keynote address before the gathering. At this juncture, I would like to announce we'll have the Vice President, of course, proceed to the laying of the foundation stone here at the airport junction. Wow, 
Si vous avez classique suitcase, vous avez un docteur de Samsonite. Vous avez un seul brown suitcase d'autre que de Samsonite. Comme je l'ai dit, si vous êtes à l'aéroport, vous avez un Samsonite, vous avez un peu de Samsonite. Wow! Vous avez un peu de Skin, si vous avez un peu de skin care products, si vous avez un peu de skin care products, vous avez un peu de skin care products. Vous avez un peu de skin care products, c'est ma spécialité. Vous savez, si vous avez un peu de skin care products, c'est ce que vous avez fait. Patricia Reina, Kiwi Eye the whole range, Lighten Up Gold, um, Tomatine, I mean the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lepo lo hane rek lui taral jigen la, ki yo yu rek la nyodok. Skin Care Plus nek, emu yung si Gambia rek, nyunga United States, nyungi Gambia fi, be pare, bude yangi anywhere in Europe, moun nen la ko mail. Within three days rek, nyeti fan rek, nga jot say diw. Emu yung si lo rek, den la consult temi. Bala nyela jay diw, Ils ont fait une free consultation pour vous dire exactement ce que vous savez. Ils ont fait ça avec vous. Ils ont fait ça avec vous. Ils ont fait ça avec des perfumes, des fragrances, des chaussures, des accessoires. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero task. Who make any real me fake? Can we not do perfect task? Can we not do fake and problem with canam? Can we not do fake and problem with picture? Book a man who fake and direct new law. The plus the fee. Albaga. Albaga, important. Yo, nga transfer. Yeah, transfer. Ah, code ni njio. Okay. Sorry. Aga dad. Bijan bro. Albaga. Albaga. Bara Allah sabi so taria. Ah, bara. Mo kijan na nung kuno bara taria. Ah, jan nung yona forest de biro. Gambia tongko na nung bara biro. Ah. Berum kau yang nak fokato? Baris itu kalau kini nak fokato ni, fok bolong dulu abe. Fifty six branches mula sura Gambia jah. Ha? Ha. Gambia kono aning Gambia bantal bangkol. Muka kono kia beret. Kono siapa siapa fok paling diru fok nyari nak tak memen nak kodi topoto ni muka di marau. Jangan nombor buat di nyontam. Anum fana nada anoda enterprise sura ni. Bolong bolam ni tipu. Domorol fanang kol fanang be firale de dadi man in domorol di fanang beteat. Gambia dao da ya longa kumva kendo sura deje. Ha, e wamu e wodiya. Ha, apelenda. Ni wamuka ni na lafta ni elen kendo levi na. Ya le buka ni na kol la barka. Ha, ya londel chosa no lo. La barka. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery 
Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.